Welcome to Amateur Hour. I'm Micah, a sumo fan, martial artist, foodie, and the editor of Grand Sumo International. This is a new segment where I go around to various sumo competitions, training camps, and performances, either to learn, compete, or just watch the action. Since I'm stuck in the US for the time being, I figured I'd take this opportunity to explore the growing amateur sumo scene here at home. Follow me as I travel around the states to face the toughest competitors, smash copious amounts of the best food I can find, and talk to some awesome friends, old and new. My hope is that you'll be inspired to get involved in your area's sumo culture and become part of what may be a future Olympic sport. Episode 1 is the Consulate's Cup in Austin, Texas. I'll be taking my 06 Honda Pilot, which I've converted into an urban stealth RV. I headed out from Grand Rapids, Michigan at about 9 p.m. on Thursday, hoping to make it through a good portion of Illinois before turning in for the night. The drive to Austin was estimated at about 19 hours, so I had a lot of ground to cover before Saturday morning's event. Good thing I like driving. Alright, sun's out. I'm just south of Chicago. Drove a few hours last night. Got about 15 hours and 45 minutes left to go. So let's get at it. I'm gonna get moving for a little bit and then. Um, when I get hungry, we're going to take a break, hopefully get something good to eat. After a few more hours, I finally found my spot. Nothing special, just an Asian buffet aptly named Asian Buffet. This kind of food has become a staple on my quest to bulk up. It's gotten me nowhere so far, but that hasn't stopped me. Trust me though, as far as food goes, the best meal is yet to come. Five plates later, I was ready to tackle the rest of the day's driving through Missouri, then Arkansas, and finally made Texas after dark. Another quick gym shower in Austin, and I was ready to head to Dark Plan Fight Lab for the tournament. And I got there just in time to set up shop at my VIP ringside seat. Some much appreciated refreshments were provided by Austin Sake and Sama Rice. After an address from the tournament director, Justin Kizzard, and a word from Austin's Japanese Consulate General, the men's lightweight division was underway. Some great action set the pace for the rest of the competition. It was Dark Clan Fight Lab owner Derek Garza who came out on top in the lightweight category. I got a chance to speak with him during a break. Oh, you are the lightweight champion mm -hmm. for this tournament, mm -hmm. Council Cup. You're also the owner of this fight facility, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and you're what? Second degree? Second degree black belt, uh, over 40 competitors. Uh, and how long have you been doing sumo? Uh, about a month and a half. Uh, you had a really good throw there, yeah. like second to last match. Mm -hmm. um, and. I feel like that was scored towards it was Nick, right? That, yeah. yeah. Apparently my hand touched or something oh, touched. Okay. I, thought, I thought I'd get the clean throw. Yeah. Um, but they called it. I think uh, maybe a couple of people would agree with that, the judges. So, right. you know, judges call it. You got to go with it. Right. Yeah. You can't argue with the yeah. thing. But in my opinion, I thought it was a clean throw. You initiated the attack. Do you, do you watch professional sumo? So, yeah. When I was, like, younger, you know, they'd have it, like, random times and night time and stuff. But uh, just because... Grappling, you know, I like yeah. train wrestling, and judo, jiu-jitsu. It's kind of a cool thing to see, like an emergence of a new art within mixed martial arts. What, what do you feel like is the main challenge in trying to get more popular? Um, I think events like this need to happen more. It's just like yeah. when more amateurs are doing it, more kind of just the hobbyists start doing it. Uh, it starts to gain some traction. You know, if we're thinking every event has to be a giant event where you know international people come in. That's where it's hard to do this. It's like just things make sense. But events like you know small tournaments here and there, 
and then you kind of build up to a bigger tournament. I think that's what is necessary for the sport to grow. Well, thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. thank you, Derek, for taking a moment during a busy tournament, and congratulations on your early success in sumo. It was on to the men's middleweight where we saw Cornelius Booker from Florida Sumo win yet another gold medal. Despite a neck injury in the semifinals, he faced Lone Star Sumo's David Murray in the final and won with a decisive Yori Taoshi. No worries, David, I've been there. Not to the finals, just, you know, being crushed by Cornelius. You hurt your neck there on that second to last match. Um, what, what, did, what happened there exactly? Well, uh, so, felt like a jiu-jitsu move where I was going for a choke okay. when I was trying to while I was trying to push him out with, yeah. my head, with my head down and... Yeah, it looked kind of like he had a headlock on Yeah, him. yeah, headlock, but he, yeah, I'm not sure if he had an arm or not, but um, yeah, when I was trying to push him out, it's just making it very uncomfortable for me to try it and finish it, so gotcha. he's been at it all out of the angle, so... Right. Well, you won the match. Hopefully it was worth it. You won't be hurting too much tomorrow. Uh, it is what it is. <laughs> oh, so you're you're from Florida Sumo. What's your what's your club's name? Uh, Florida Sumo. Just Florida Sumo. Yep. Awesome, right there in the head. Um, how's that going? How's that club uh, developing? It's it's going kind of slow, possibly due to due to COVID making everyone right. make it difficult to try and break people. Well, you've been doing sumo for a while. You're, you're uh, really experienced, really skilled. You've got a lot to offer. So if anybody's out there in Florida. Hit Cornelius up. Do you have any uh, Instagram to plug or anything like that? Floor Sumo on Instagram. Yeah. Got Florida Su Floor Sumo Association on Facebook, and we also have a Gmail. Awesome. Well, great job today. Once again. Thanks again to Cornelius, and good luck in the open weights. Next, we saw a cool demo by Austin Kendo. Three women showed up to compete at the Consulates Cup, resulting in a single open weight division made up of Kayla Yontif from Jackson Wink MMA, Nicole Burgess of Lone Star Sumo, and number one women's heavyweight in the US, Eros Armstrong, representing Dark Circle Sumo. After a grueling six match round robin, Eros took gold undefeated. Even though the women's open weight was over, none of the girls were done competing for the day. All three decided to take on the men in a mixed open weight at the end of the day. But first, to the men's light heavyweight. There was a lot of talent in this category, including number one light heavy Sam Kempka of Dark Circle Sumo. Sam was forced out by Georgia Sumo's Jacob Gill, and Jacob went on to beat Colorado's Nate Pastorello to secure the gold medal. Alright, so we've got the Consulate Cup winner, Mr. Jacob Gill, also a 2020 Silver National Medalist. How y'all doing? How do you feel? I feel great. Uh, Look forward, looking forward to the open. Uh, had some, had some good matches. Had some, had some flip ups. But we'll work on it and continue to, continue to get better. That's, that's what I'm looking for. Getting ready for national. Yes. You got, you got national level, level competitors at a local event. You need to get out and hit all these, hit all these events up, especially Justin. Much appreciated. Yeah, man, you looked good out there. You closed the gap on Sam. You know he's more dangerous when, he, when he's got some room. Yeah. yeah. But, I know that but you came off, you came off the line. A lot harder, faster, towards the gap, and the rest was over. That was it was beautiful, man. Of course, I love my you know love my student Sam, but I, I have to say that was cool. Thank you, thank you. You're doing your thing. I'm glad to see oh, yeah. that COVID hasn't kept me down. Yep. And awesome, man. I'll see you in the open. Yeah, I'll see y'all in the open. We'll just have Justin do all the interviews next time. Congratulations to Jacob, and we look forward to seeing more from him in the future. Then it was time for a stacked heavyweight card. Number two men's heavyweight Jose Galindo from LA Sumo was there to compete. We also had Titan Sumo's Americus Abasamis and Caleb Bacchus from Lone Star Sumo. 
Jose ran through the competition undefeated to take the cup and went right on to compete in open weight. So, just so you know, we have number two lightweight in the U.S. and he is also the winner of the Consulates Cup. This guy came all the way from Los Angeles. I have trained with him over with the LA team. He's super amazing. He showed exactly why he is number one. And how do you feel? Good. Tired. Perfect. Good. Yeah. <laughs> you should be tired. Yeah, and those guys are like no joke. <laughs> both of them, dude. They're super. They move well and they're both heavy and strong. So it's, yeah, it's. Uh, it was very difficult, but it was fun. Hell yeah. Well, next up, you've got the open weight, which is anything goes. You know, sometimes, you know, heavyweights have a problem. Sometimes with, you know, smaller guys with that with that speed. Yeah. So I'm really curious to see what, you know, what you're going to do out there in the ring. Um, and really proud of your work, man. I wish, you know, I wish I was still in LA, but, you know, I've got, we got our guys here, and I'm, and I'm trying to build a team here. Yeah. I had a heavyweight that was supposed to compete. He had a family issue, and so he couldn't, he couldn't, uh, he couldn't be here today. But hope that he, you know, he can be with you uh, in the uh, in 2021 Nationals. Yeah, it's gonna be here. Yeah, it's gonna be here in Texas. <laughs> and I want to tell everybody, this is really only possible for me. Any sumo work was because of Danny Avila, man. And I wish he could have been here. So shout out to Danny. This shout out to both of us. Keep fighting, dog. Keep fighting, brother. So. As mentioned before, the ladies requested that they have a shot in a mixed open weight to close out the tournament. The men obliged and women's champ Eros Armstrong came away with a win. <laughs> All the competitors fought their hearts out one last time, but it was Jose Galindo who took yet another goal. Congratulations to him on his success in both divisions. I caught up with Eros after the turn. Alright guys, I am here with Eros Armstrong, that's how you say your name right? Yes sir. And you competed in the open weight and the women's. Yes. And how did you get it on the open weight? We did men and women together, all weights. Um, all the girls competed in that mm -hmm. as well. How did you feel about that? I've got to say I love the kind of people that Simo brings to the table. I am a huge fan of I love the women that came out today. Hopeful that more will come out because there's some that signed up and didn't show. So. But um, going into the open weight, was also really exciting because you get to pair the strength and, and learn different techniques. I am hoping to get much, much better so that people will continue to watch me and watch Dark Soup. So we'll see. And you had some success in the open weight and you, it was all you with the women. That's, that's well, so that's, that's awesome. I'm going to say that that comes down to uh, the training with uh, Justin. A lot of dark circle soon. He's willing to work with people. Like he'll find your niche okay. and then kind of curtail the training to that. And how long have you been doing? Uh, so dark so for sumo, technically a little over six months. A little over six months. Mm -hmm. And these are the results after just six months. Do you have background I, in other sports? So? I would like to say that uh, this is me coming off with injury. So whatever happened here is just a this is a good baseline, and then okay. all I expect to do is get better. Um, my background, I did eight years of law enforcement. Okay. All so right. I'm kind of used to taking people down that are bigger than me. Do you watch professional sumo at all? Yes, I do. I just, there's also a thing where I, this is where I sound like a fan. I am in love with the muscle and the endurance training and how it shapes the body yeah. more so than I am in love with the individual wrestlers. Like I am, every match is like a new opportunity for me because I'm always like, 
Oh my God, look at his overly developed locks. Look, look at, look at his, you know, I'm betcha he's got major explosive powers. What did I tell you? Like, that sort of thing. Do you have a favorite uh, wrestler? Mm -hmm. No, all right. I love him. I know. I love him. I just want you to Do you think he'll stay in the top division for a while? Or? I hope so. Yeah. He's got amazing muscles. Uh, the, his, the way his body's put together and the way he seems to think as he's going, I, I can't help but admire it. Now that being said, I love the professionals, I love the mates, but I also, I love watching the women's because they are so inspiring. I watch all their matches just because it helps me want to become stronger in the gym. So thank you ladies, keep going. Congratulations to those who medaled. Special shout out to Justin for putting together a well-run tournament on his first try. Please support his club in any way you can. Thanks as well for the clips. You can watch the entire recorded live stream on the Dark Circle Sumo YouTube channel, and there should be a link there to donate, and I've also provided one in the description box. And another shout out to Derek for hosting and emceeing. If you're anywhere near Austin and are interested in MMA, Jiu Jitsu, etc., check out his club. It's legit. After that, I got to hang out with some friends at dinner. Austin was a pretty cool city from what little I saw of it. I wish I could have stayed for the after party, but it was time to head back up north. The next day I discovered an amazing barbecue spot in Dallas called Pecan Lodge. Alright, I'm headed to Pecan Lodge. Apparently that's a really good restaurant here in Dallas, Texas. Hope for the best. If it's got to be takeout, it's still, still going to be good food I'm sure. So. All right guys, got the three meat combo, got some fried okra, and brisket, beef ribs, or no, pork ribs, and um, turkey, smoked turkey. Looks pretty good. Yeah, so I enjoyed that meal for the next 20 minutes or so. I think this video actually cuts off before I get done eating here. I was trying to record the whole thing and do a time lapse, but uh, technical difficulties, par for the course. Anyway, I give Pecan Lodge a thumbs up, 100%. Uh, my favorite was the brisket, just based on the texture. Seemed like it had been slow cooked for a very long time and it was very good. The smoked turkey was extremely flavorful, not dry at all. And the ribs were some of the best ribs I've had. Possibly the best. I don't know. I don't have, I'm not like a food taster or anything. I just, I pretty much like anything I eat. But uh, yeah, anyway, check out Pecan Lodge if you're in the Dallas area. Even if you're not in the Dallas area, see if you can order it. It's worth a try. Truly, it's worth a try. The trip home was safe and I even got to add one new state to my list by sneaking through Oklahoma on the way back. If you enjoyed this vlog and would be interested in seeing more, please let me know in the comments and subscribe. I appreciate it and I hope to see you all next time on American Sumo Road Trip.